The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 26, 1973, in London, England. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your coming here and participating with this Krishna Consciousness Movement. So, we have already some understanding about this movement. Still, as you have kindly come here, I shall try to explain what is this movement. <clears throat> this movement means that to awaken the original consciousness of the living entity. Uh, living being or living entity, there are varieties, eight million four hundred thousand varieties. There are nine hundred thousand varieties in the water and two million varieties as trees and plants. Jalajanam lakkhani sthavara lakkhavimsa. And then insects, reptiles, there are eleven hundred thousand varieties. Then there are one million varieties of birds. Pakshusadakpakshanam rasalakkhakam. Then beast, three million, uh, three, three million varieties of animals, beasts, four-legged beasts. And then there are four hundred thousand forms of the human being, out of which the civilized men, they are taken into consideration. All other varieties, they are in the lower grade of life. They cannot understand Krishna consciousness. It is not possible. It is in the human form of body when the consciousness is development, developed. In the tree also there is consciousness. It is now scientifically true when you cut tree, take its leaves, it feeds, and that is recorded in the machine. Uh, this machine was discovered by Sar Jagadish Chandra Bose, a great physicist in Calcutta. So everyone has got consciousness. There is no doubt about it. Uh, but the developed consciousness is found in the human being. <clears throat> and the topmost development of consciousness is Krishna consciousness. Therefore, we are appealing to the people in general all over the world that now you have got developed consciousness, then the lower animals, birds, trees, bees, now you develop further so that you can uh, awaken your original consciousness, which is called Krishna consciousness, then your life is successful. This is Krishna consciousness movement. You have got already consciousness. Uh, just like a child, a boy has got consciousness, he is sent to a school, colleges. He develops his consciousness, he can understand scientific truth, and then he becomes a very big man, a successful man, as there are such consideration in the material world. Similarly, the development highest consciousness is spiritual consciousness. That is called Krishna consciousness. The spiritual consciousness should be uh, cultivated 
first of all understanding that we are all spiritual being we are not this material body that we have to first of all understand the nature within this material body there is the spirit soul and that spirit soul out of ignorance it is uh, desiring material sense gratification therefore he has to transmigrate into different types of bodies and as soon as we accept one material body it doesn't matter whether it is king's body or dog's body it doesn't matter because the spirit soul has accepted this material body he has to undergo the three fold miserable conditions of material existence this is the problem ah <coughs> that for krishna advises that matra sparsha astu kontiya shitoshna sukha dukkha our material uh, understanding of pain and pleasure on account of this body when the body feels cold we cover when the body feels very warm we uncover the covering and uncovering is due to seasonal changes therefore this material world means changing always it is called jagat jagat means always change and account of the material world changing we feel pains and pleasure on this material world krishna advises therefore that matra sparsha se konte ya situshna sukh dukh da the material pains and pleasures they are on account of this body but we are not this body we are spirit soul our main business is how to elevate this soul to its original position of eternity that is our problem these things are very nicely explained in the book known as bhagavad gita we are presenting this bhagavad gita as it is and we hold our class also in this hall daily in the morning so we invite all ladies and gentlemen to come here and try to understand uh, bhagavad gita we have got this opportunity of human form of life we can understand what i am what you are we are not this body we are spirit soul as spirit soul we are all eternal blissful and cognizant but on account of this material covering we are suffering the material condition three four uh kind of miserable life uh, it is very difficult little but this is the problem uh, we have to understand this otherwise you are missing the opportunity of this human life if you neglect then we are just like animals the animals have no concern to understand this philosophy of life that i am not this body i am spirit so i am in case some our other i have to get out of this entanglement and be again reinstalled in my original consciousness and be happy having eternal life blissful life and full of knowledge uh, this is the problem but people have become so dull and rusted that they do not even care to understand this philosophy of life that i am not this body i am spirit soul actually even one's daily life one can understand that he is different from this body 
Just like every one of us, we had a child's body, a boy's body, a youth's body. Now I am old man. But I can remember that I had a body, a small body, baby's body. I remember personally. Uh, when I was six months old, I was lying down on my eldest sister's lap. She was knitting. I still remember. So then I got another body, another body, another body, and according to development of body, I had different consciousness. Just like child's consciousness is different from the father's consciousness. So we are actually getting different types of body every moment, and the consciousness is changed also according to the body. This is a fact. But I remember that I had certain such body. <coughs> I was doing such foolish things when I was a child, and all these things I remember. Therefore I, the person, the soul, is existing, although the bodies are not existing. This is the fact. Those bodies, my childhood body, my boyhood body, my youthful body, they are no longer existing. It is a fact. I have got now a different body. But I remember that I possess certain such bodies. Therefore, the conclusion is that in, in spite of change of body, the spirit soul remains the same, eternal. Similarly, when I shall change this body, I shall get another one. Tathādehāntaram prāti. That is called transmigration of the soul. Uh, but unfortunately there is no education on the spiritual knowledge in any school, college. Although there are books, uh, they can read, they can understand the constitution, position of the soul, but there is no arrangement. Perhaps this Krishna consciousness movement is the only institution which is teaching people that he is not this body, his spirit soul is different from body and he starts migrating from one body to another. Birth and death. Actually the spirit soul has no birth and death. Najayati Indiyati Bhakadasi. The spirit soul is eternal. It does not take birth or it dies. The body is changing. The change of the body is known as birth and death. We are eternal. Therefore nobody wants to die because he is eternal by constitution. He doesn't like to change, but he is forced to change by some power. That is understanding. That I do not wish to die. What is that force that obliges me? obliges me to accept death. I do not wish to become old man, but there is a power which is uh, forcing me to accept old age. This is the problem. Uh, unfortunately, we have given up the real problem of life. We are very much embarrassed with the temporary uh, existence of this body, say, part some years, fifty years or hundred years. But as we are eternal, we are not taking care of the eternal soul, what is its need. Uh, but when a person is developed, uh, his spiritual consciousness automatically develops. At that time he is no more satisfied with the comforts of the material body. In the Western country, that feeling is now very prominent because uh, there are so many confused, frustrated young men who are known as hippies. They are not satisfied with the ways of life as their fathers and grandfathers are living. Uh, they are protesting rather. That means there is spiritual starvation. Uh, therefore, we see also, as soon as some sāmi or yogi comes from India, they flock together, they go there to receive some message. 
बिकॉज दैंग करेंगे तो ऑलरेडी दे अर्थात ब्रह्म जिज्ञास नाउ यू शुड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस हैंग करें एंड द मूवमेंट कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस दैट इज फॉर योर प्रॉफिट यू वॉन्ट समथिंग स्पिरिचुअल and here is the spiritual movement krishna consciousness simply you have to study this movement very carefully and, and with intelligence then you will understand that this is the thing we are hankering after this is what so we are opening centers all over the world in america we have got about 50 centers and in your europe we have got about half a dozen or more than dozen center including france germany amsterdam england and ireland scotland so uh, this is a new center opened by us this house has been very kindly given to us by george harrison uh, he is a nice boy he is taking to krishna conscious stand so Uh, you have got good facilities now to understand what is this Krishna consciousness movement. So we shall simply request you to take advantage of this center. We are not charging anything. We haven't got to pay anything. If you come uh, in the morning and take part with us, we hold class. We are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come. Uh, and then take part with us. Morning, as we hold class, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come, uh, and then take part with us. We hold class. Morning, as we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come, uh, and then take part with us. We hold class. Morning. We are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, uh, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, uh, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning. We are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, uh, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, uh, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning. We are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. Morning, we are engaged twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come 
Uh, and take part with us. We hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in the, and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But think, if you come uh, in the, and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning. We are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning. Uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning. Uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple, but saying. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning. Uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying. If you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning. Uh, we are in this twenty-four hours in this uh, temple. But saying, if you come uh, in and take part with us, we hold class. In the morning, and as Africa and fight amongst themselves, we should always know that we are all sons of God. The property is God's. We can use whatever we need by the grace of God. The supply is there. There is no question of scarcity. And the save your time 
be peaceful and chant Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. There's only one need of, of the living being, that there are many other needs in today's society. No, you have got only four needs. You want food, you want shelter, you want uh, sense gratification, and you want defense. That's all. Ahara, Nidra, Bhayamant. These needs are there even in the animals. They also eat, they also sleep. They have also sex life, and they also depend in their own way. So you need these four things, so you can arrange for these four things, but not extraordinary. People are increasing their needs artificially, therefore they are in trouble. And as soon as there is accumulation of more things, if you accumulate more than your need, I also imitate to accumulate more than my need. There is competition. That competition is going on. And that is the cause of war. Those who are aware of the history, the two big wars in your Europe uh, were started by German people because they are very much envious of the English people. The Germans, they could not do business throughout the whole British Empire. We know Indians. Uh, so they were very much uh, envious of these British people, and therefore they <coughs> started two big wars, world war. So if we collect more, now the British Empire is finished. Uh, if we collect more, if we want to acquire more, then other becomes jealous. And in this way our jealousies increase, and that is the cause of war, that is the cause of war. But if you are satisfied with your minimum or maximum means, nobody will be jealous. Just like an elephant is eating uh, uh, 40 kilo, kilos of food stuff at a time, we cannot eat even one-fourth kilo. But we are not envious of the elephant because we know he needs to eat so much. Neither the elephant is envious to us. So whatever you need, you can collect, you can eat. But don't take more. Then, according to the God's law, you become criminal. You are punishable. That is God's law. You eat, you eat, I eat. It is a common pleasure. So I must eat what I need, and you must eat what you need. That's not a very big philosophical problem. Everyone knows what you eat. <coughs> but don't eat more. Suppose I can eat so much, and if I eat more, then I get indigestion. That is the punishment of the laws of nature. I get dysentery. Then I have to starve for three days, because I have eaten more. So, Juttahara Viharasta Yoga Bhavati Siddhita, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, if you want to be a yogi or spiritualist, you should not take more than what you can digest, what can you eat. That's Juttahara. You can satisfy your hunger. But according to yogi principle or from health point of view, even if you can eat so much, you can understand that I can eat so much. You should not eat the whole thing. You should eat half. And one-fourth you shall fill up with uh, water. And one-fourth you should leave vacant so that there may be ventilation. Your digestion will be easily done. This is Ayurvedic law. Even if you think that you can eat so much, you should not voluntarily eat so much. You should eat half. And one fourth you should fill up with water, and one fourth you keep vacant for air ventilation. Then there will be no disease. It is hygienic means. And as soon as you eat more than what you can digest, you become diseased. That means you are punished. Similarly, in every action, you can have your force hand as you need, but don't take more. Then it is 
हेल्पफुल टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस जुक्ताहार विहार से योग भवती सिद्धि इट इज ए इंटरनेशनल सोसायटी वी आर पिकिंग अप मैन ऑफ दिस मेंटेलिटी नॉट दैट द होल वर्ल्ड विल बी फॉरवर्स दैट यू डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट बट दे आर आर मैन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वी लाइक दिस मूवमेंट देर फॉर वी से इंटरनेशनल सोसायटी एंड एक्चुअल इट इज हैपनिंग we are picking up our devotees from all parts of the world so therefore it is international thank you hare krishna शोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन जमुना तीर बन चौधी जमुना तीर बन चौधी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल्लव गिरी बरधारी गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी शोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन जमुन तीर बन चौधी जमुन तीर जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय अमुस्वा परमंश परिभ्रा जगाचार्य सिद्धरे श्री समाधि धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी भगवान की जय अनंतपुरी वैष्णव की जय रामाचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत राधा सुभाषाधि गौर लक्ष्मी की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण मो गोपनाथ श्याम खंड राधा खंड गिरिवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवदेव धाम की जय गंगा माई की जय जमुना माई की जय द्वारका धाम की जय स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जय और ग्लोरी सुधर समझ और
all glories to Jesus. Thank you very much.